Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is about hoof casting. It's a method of uh, strengthening the hoof wall uh, when you're dealing with a compromised hoof. Maybe some um, hoof wall is broken off um, or your horse is continuously losing shoes and, and you're really losing the ability to nail to that hoof wall. Uh, so we can apply a cast, strengthens the hoof wall uh, and allows you to a, a, a safely apply a shoe. And it's another alternative to applying a shoe other than uh, directly gluing a shoe on to the foot. Okay, so today uh, we're applying a cast to this foot. This is a boxy upright foot and it's one of the harder feet to shoe and he's continuously lost, um, lost a shoe over the last couple of shoeing cycles and we've got to this stage now where all this wall is broken up on both sides and he's actually a little bit lame on it. And if we take a look at the solar aspect of this, We've just given a little bit of a wire brush. We can see how we've lost all that hoof wall either side. Um, and it really is a compromised hoof now. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast it with this casting tape. But we're not actually going to shoe him today. We are going to use the casting tape to strengthen up this hoof wall. And be that sort of intermediate. Uh, just to help him with that transition from the shoes to barefoot. We're going to take this horse barefoot now. So yeah, so we'll get the cast on there. Um, we'll show you the application of the cast. And then we'll show you the finished job at the end. Okay, so in order for us to allow this horse to stay in these hoof casts for an extended period of time, um, traditionally you would wrap them around the entire hoof capsule in order to make sure the cast stays on. But the problem with that is it really restricts the natural function of the foot, the natural expansion and contraction of that foot under load. You know, and after a week or two, I'd be very concerned that he would go a little bit sore on it. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a slightly different method. Um, this method was shown to us, uh, and full credit goes to Derek Poupard, um, another farrier, who showed us this method. And it's basically, we're going to apply a, uh, um, a film of glue all the way around that dorsal hoof wall. We're going to apply our cast. We're going to build it up at the quarters where we want the material. We're not going to put... We're probably only going to put three layers, so only a very thin layer around the heels, which will allow us at the end, once it's all set and gone off, I trim the uh, material at the heels away uh, in order so we can, um, the, the heels can function normally. Uh, we're not restricting the hoof uh, and we can happily leave this cast on for the next six weeks. So we've just prepped the foot now. So we've just uh, lightly trimmed it. As you can see, we've, we've, we've taken the rasping now just up to about halfway up the hoof wall, um, all the way around. We've just given them a light trim, just so our glue has something to adhere to. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll uh, we'll start mixing some glue. We're going to use um, the Hoof Light 420, which is a swift set glue. Um, sets in two to four minutes. We'll be mixing that. Uh, we, we tend to use card and a spatula, mix it together um, and we'll apply a nice um, film all the way around the dorsal hoof wall. We'll then, straight away, we'll then apply our cast. Um, we'll wrap it with our cling film wrap until it's set. We'll remove the wrap, and we'll trim away the heels um, and we'll take it from there. So let's get on with it. And I like to add a little bit of copper sulfate to my glue, just so I know that any bacteria underneath the glue is going to be treated by the copper, copper sulfate, keeping it nice and clean. Sometimes if you don't use the copper sulfate, you tend to get this black necrotic tissue build up behind the glue, um, which is not what you want, especially when you, you sort of encase that for you know, up to six weeks. So with just a little bit of copper sulfate will help that out. So that's just starting to go off now. I'll take this like this. Okay. 
<clears throat> okay, so this glue is just starting to go off already. So I'll just smear that over the, nicely at the heels, over that hoof wall, all the way around. It's a nice even layer, right around that toe. Not too high up the wall, it doesn't need to be. We're making sure we've got nice coverage all over. Okay. Take our casting tape. So I go for the two inch casting tape because I don't want it to be too big. I don't want it to go too high up the hoof wall. Now it's the tricky part. This is where you need a horse that will stand well. So I do one complete run. And what I'll do now is I'll try to build up them quarters. This is sticky. Easy son. So I've built up that one. So just overlapping layers. Looks very fiddly at first, especially when he's nudging me around. They come around, they'll do another pass at the heels, coming forward, encasing everything once again. Trying to get it half on that sole. Come around, stand still, big fella. Keeping it nice and tight if I can. Easy, son. Yeah. Make another pass round, encasing everything in again. Coming round to just finish that roll off. There we go. Okay, so I just made sure nothing was on the on the coronary band all the way around. Now I'll just apply a sponge and some water. Now this just starts, this just activates the sort of curing of this material. And then we just apply the shrink wrap. Let him place even load on it. I want that cast to be smooth, so I'm just rubbing it with this film roll. Now it's important he's on level ground just so that the base of that cast sets nice and flush. Okay, so we've just taken the cling film wrap off, uh, and this has really gone off now. Uh, as you can hear, it's very solid. Um, we've got all this excess glue here that I'd like to tidy up. It's got a few lumps and bumps in it, so it's not a perfect wrap. Um, so we can rasp them out in a little while, but the important part of this process is the fact that this is a complete cast at the moment. Um, really restricting the heels here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that away there and there, really open that up, allows the foot to function. And as you can see, we've got this nice um, casting material all over the sole here, just giving them a little bit more strength to the walls, but also a little bit of protection over the foot there. So we'll trim this away now. And it doesn't take a lot because I've only put a couple of layers on there and I can just cut it away with my knife. Huh? Like a rasp? No. Just being careful I don't pull it and really loosen that bond here. And I'm going to just get behind it with my knife, just saw it off. Trimming that up. Trim that fog while I'm here. Same on this side. Get behind it. Being careful with the bulbs of heel not to damage your bulbs. Just 
just trim a bit of that frog off. Clean up my sort of, um, central groove or central cleft. It's very important for even weight distribution at the back of the foot. You have the frog stay directly above it. Really want to centralise all that weight bearing forces. Evenly disperse it either side of those heels. And there we go. So the heels are now open, it's not in an encased foot. The foot can function how it should. It's got that extra protection. We're just going to take the rasp now and tidy that up. If I just undercut it with the rasp where I want it to end, I can actually get in with my knife. Okay, so this is the foot now after we've just rasped it up, um, really tidied that, um, all the little bulges in it, um, all the way around, and it really does rasp like a uh, horn. You can see the little spots of um, glue still in there, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm happy with, with the glue, I'm happy with the cast, nice and smooth with this foot, you wouldn't, you wouldn't totally notice it. Um, and as you can see when we walk him up and down, Okay, so if you watch this horse now, though, this horse came in a few minutes ago and I didn't get it on video, unfortunately, but he was pretty much, he didn't want to bear any weight on that right fore. Now, if you look at him now, that's made him so much more comfortable. He's not 100% on it. Um, it might take him a couple of days just to get used to that being there now. But he's certainly a, a lot better. So there we go. So there's the caster material been trimmed away at the heels. The foot's now able to function as a burr foot, pretty much a burr foot foot. You can see we've got a little bit of casting all over that sole, but I'm happy to leave that where it is. It'll wear away over time, just like horn would. Um, okay, so to finish this off, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of super glue. This is a trick I learned from Curtis Burns, watching one of his um, crack patch videos on the internet. Um, and I'll just apply this right the way around the, the seam just to secure that, prevent any water getting in all the way around. Creating that sort of watertight barrier. Right round to the heels. And as it's a black fort, we're going to be using the, Kevin, the black Kevin Bacon hoof moisturiser. Really just cake that on right up to that coronary band. Really blend them in together. And you'd never notice this horse had a cast on. There we go. If you want just a final look at the solar aspect. Just here. Blend that in and that in. And there we have it. Open heels, strengthen them walls, jobs are good. Okay guys, so that's the method of um, casting. Uh, credit to Derek Poupard, as I mentioned earlier on. Uh, if anyone's got any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, so either drop me uh, a comment below, or um, you can more than happy send me an email, or direct message on any of the social media platforms. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you on another video. Thanks guys.